Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of the new year and your sustaining grace through the years by God. Even as we spend time in worship this morning, praising your majestic name, we pray that we would be able to experience the presence of God much more than ever before. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Our opening hymn. Light of the world, you step down. Psalm 27. Today's psalm is taken from Psalms 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and foes, it is they who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war arise against me, yet I will be confident. One thing have I asked of the Lord that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will lift me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me, and I will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy, I will sing and make melody to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud. Be gracious to me and answer me. You have said, Seek my face, my heart says to you. Your face, Lord, do I seek. Hide not your face from me. Turn not your servant away in anger. O you who have been my help, cast me not off. Forsake me not, O God of my salvation. For my father and my mother have forsaken me but the Lord will take me in. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Give me not up to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and they breathe out violence. I believe that I shall look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. 
Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, well without end. Amen. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our heart be acceptable unto thee, O Lord, our Rock and our Redeemer. Amen. Dearly beloved, the Lord has been good and gracious. We are able to see a new year in our lives. May I take this opportunity to wish you a new year filled with joy, peace, justice and righteousness. May we be a blessing for many. For a short reflection today, I draw your attention to Psalm 27 where the psalmist is declaring forth that the Lord is my light and my salvation. Well, in paths of darkness, we realize the importance of light. Two years of a pandemic did affect the course of life across the world in inexplicable ways and through it all through it all the Lord was a light in our lives there were several experiences where we thought everything is over who would save us and the Lord continued to be a salvation unto us today as we reflect on the revelation of the salvation of God I would want to draw your attention to three prayers that David prays in the psalm, three promises he holds on to, and three promptings that will help us in the new year. The prayer. Primarily, the prayer of the psalmist is this. One thing I ask of the Lord and that one thing is to live in the house of the Lord forever to live in the constant company of the Lord in a New Testament passage in John a few Greeks came to meet Jesus they asked Philip how could they meet Jesus and Philip took them to Andrew, both went to Jesus. And when they met him in the conversation about the hour, the most important reflection is this, that Jesus says, where I am, there shall my disciples be. And where is the house of the Lord? The house of the Lord is where Jesus the Lord is. The house of the Lord is where God is. Two years of the pandemic did redefine our conceptualization and understanding of the house of the Lord. We thought it was buildings, it was churches where the Lord resides. And the pandemic taught us not so. Even in the inner chambers of our homes, there the Lord is. Those spaces can be transformed into the house of the Lord, the presence of the Lord. So the primary prayer is this, O Lord, throughout the new year, may I be in your constant presence, in your constant company. What happens? In that constant company of the Lord, the second prayer is this, I want to behold your beauty. I want to behold your beauty, O Lord, all the days of my life. How do you behold the beauty of the Lord, the Shekinah of the Lord? As we venture into a new year, into the joys and adventures of the new year, the question is, is 
the Shekinah of the Lord, the glory of the Lord, the Kabod of the Lord, something that is hidden in a sacred space. Or, where is God? Is he in the sweat of the toiling people? Where is God? Is he where there is struggles for justice are? Where is God? Is he where people are fleeing in search of safe spaces? Where is God? It's an important question. 2022 races before us when we pray that I want to behold the glory of the Lord, the face of the Lord. The question is this. Is it an extraordinary light they are looking for, you are looking for when you want to behold the face of the Lord? Or is it in the ordinary? Is it in the suffering? Is it in the glorification of the ordinary people in the vulnerability of their lives that we behold the glory of the Lord? But the prayer is simple. Lord, help me stay with you. Help me see you, your glory. And the third prayer is this, to inquire in your temple, to keep asking you, what is the purpose of life? What is the direction that I ought to take? Or in simple words, to be in constant communication with you, to be in constant conversation with you, so that I understand the purposes of not my life, but the life of entire humanity, entire creation. And therefore Psalm 27, while it affirms that the Lord is a light and a salvation, despite all the forces of enmity around, while it is sure that the Lord would protect, the prayer is, Lord, I want to live in your house. Lord, I want to see your glory. Lord, I want to inquire of you. I want to be in constant communication with you. Second, the three promises that the psalmist holds on to. And most important of this is this. He will hide you in the shelter of his in your days of trouble. Well, the life of discipleship is not a life without troubles. But a life of discipleship is a life with a promise that wherever there are troubles, God would keep you. God would hold you. God would protect you. He will hide you in his shelter. Friends, as we go into 2022, we are sure that would be a beautiful journey through the sea of life. Some part of the terrain could be windy. Some part of the terrain could be stormy. But through it all, through it all, we rest assured in peace because the one who is the captain of the ship is able to keep us safe in his shelter in times of trouble. We just trust the captain. The second promise is this. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. Well, the tent of the Lord is the most protected space that you could ever have. While it is turbulence around, the Lord is able to give you a protective covering, a protective tent, a tent that keeps moving with you a tent that keeps moving with the people, like the tent of the tabernacle that kept moving with the people as they moved towards safety. The tent of the Lord stays with you through difficult situations. And when storms come, when difficulties come, the Lord will conceal you in his tent. That's a beauty. That's a promise that all of us could hold on to, that the Lord would conceal us in his tent. And third part of the promise is this. He will set you high on a rock. 
That's what he's sure about. That's what, what he's holding on to. That's what he's singing. Sing a song unto the Lord, for he will set me high on a rock. Yes, we might think that we are going through a miry path, a muddy path. We might think that our legs cannot hold on, but the Lord promises that he will hold us high in a rock. Jesus, the rock, is able to carry us through whatever difficult situations that we go through. The variants of the pandemic, the world seeking profit in unethical ways. Life can be difficult at times, but in those difficult times, be assured the promises of the Lord is he is able to hide you, he is able to cover you, he is able to set you high on a rock. And the psalm ends with three promptings, three wishes for the new year. One is a simple message. Wait for the Lord. Wait for the Lord. Friends, the psalmist continues in his prayer, show me thy way, O Lord. And at every cross points in life, at every crossroads in life, the simple message for the new year is this, wait for the Lord. Wait for the timing of the Lord. Wait for the instruction of the Lord. Wait for the guidance of the Lord. Wait for the hand holding of the Lord. Wait for the reading of the Lord. Wait for the Lord. Friends, with this prayer, show me your way, we should be able to wait patiently for the Lord. The second, perhaps the continuation of the Old Testament thought is this, be strong. Life is safe with God. There could be turbulence in the sea, as we discussed earlier. But the Lord is able to carry us through, through those turbulences. And therefore, whatever happens, be strong. Do not lose hope. Be strong in your inner being. Be strong in your faith. Be strong in your trusting in the Lord. And as, per, as a continuation of that, thirdly, he says, let your heart take courage. Let your heart take courage. Never lose courage. The Lord is there beside you. Whatever be the life situation that you see around you, whatever be the stormy waves that we see around you, remember those are just temporary. There is the tranquility of eternity beyond that. And therefore, take courage. Let your heart constantly and continuously take courage. Dear friends, today we looked at three important aspects from Psalm 27. Three prayers, three promises, and three promptings. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart always be courageous. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, we thank you for reminding us today of the desire of the psalmist to stay constantly in the house of the Lord, to behold your beauty, O Lord, and to be in constant conversation with you. Thank you, Lord, those, for those promises that you will hide us. You will give us shelter. You will be the one who will help us stand high on the rock. Thank you, Lord, for prompting us again. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart not lose courage. Help us as we travel through 2022 to trust in these words of yours. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. The closing hymn. In Christ alone.
done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May I wish you a very, very happy New Year 2022. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit Rest and abide with each one of us now, through the year, and forevermore. Amen.